Hello, I'm Mary Moko, a member of the Provider Outreach and Education Team at WPS. WPS is the Jurisdiction 5 and Jurisdiction 8 Medicare Administrative Contractor, or MAC. During this brief video, I want to share a helpful tip for electronic claim submissions. To help them remain HIPAA compliant, WPS created a cross-reference guide to help providers comply with claim submission requirements. You can link to this helpful guide on the WPS Medicare EDI webpage. You can find the link to the guide in the description of this video. This shows an example of what you will see in the crosswalk. For example, you can find the CMS 1500 claim form item number in column 1. Column 2 shows the narrative that appears on the CMS 1500 claim form. Columns 3 and 4 show the data element and loop, followed by the data element description in the fifth column. The next column, labeled Status, includes an R or an S. R stands for Required and is used for any data element that is needed to process a claim. The date of service is a good example. If an S appears in the status column, it means any data element that must be completed if other conditions exist. In other words, the information is situational. A great example of this is when the insured differs from the patient, the insured's name must be entered on the claim. In the final column, you can find requirements for a compliant version 5010 electronic claim. You can find a key to other details that appear on the crosswalk at the bottom of each page. I hope you found this information valuable. If so, please like and share this video. If you do not already, please consider subscribing to the WPS GHA YouTube channel. Doing so will ensure that you receive notice of new content. Please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.